Welcome or welcome back on C-Squared. In this video clip, we're going to talk about solving polynomial equation and we're going to look to cubics, cubic equation and quartic equation. So the first uh, two, you notice that we, uh, first of all, we need to factor out by using uh, that those two famous patterns, sum of cubes and difference of cubes. So the first one is going to become x plus 4 and then x squared minus 4x plus 16 equals 0, right? And then, uh, you know, if you know, remember factoring the second uh, polynomial in this moment, the quadratic cannot be factored out, that is a prime polynomial, but we still can solve this equation because it's in factor form. And do you notice I did the first factor x plus 4 equals 0, right? Zero product property, that gives us the first solution x equals negative 4. How do we find the other solutions? Uh, by making the second factor. That quadratic equals to 0. Like I said, this, you cannot factor all this. Uh, the only way is going to be to using quadratic formula. So the first thing I'm going to do here is evaluate the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. In this case, we're going to have 16 minus 64, which is negative 48. Yes, a negative number that tells us we have complex solution. So let's find it now and we're gonna finish uh, using this quadratic formula, negative b, right? So that negative 4 becomes positive 4 plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. We already evaluate that discriminant square root of negative 48 over 2a, 2 times 1. Uh, some simplification here. Or plus or minus square root of negative 48 that will be 4i square root of 3 over 2 times 1 that is 2 and the last thing here we're gonna simplify by 2 and we have 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 3 and this is the final solution the final two solution for problem 17 uh, one real too complex, they conjugate always come in pairs. Uh, pause this video, you can try number 18. So if you end up with these two solutions, the real one, uh, I mean these three solutions, the real one, x equals 3 fifths and x equals negative 3 plus or minus 3i square root of 3 over 10, the two complex solutions that comes in pairs, like I said, did a wonderful job. Uh, let's take a look to number 19 and 20. If you notice, these are a little bit different. We are, they are not equals to 0. Equal, for example, number 19, x cubed equals 1. So we're going to make it equal, equals to 0 by subtracting 1. And from here is nothing else than what we did on number 17 on the previous slide. So we're going to factor out using difference of cubes. And uh, you see here the difference of cubes that we used in a previous example. The same story. And then we're going to do 2x minus 1 equals 0, which is going to give us x equals 1 half. This is the real solution. And we're going to go to the second part, the quadratic, that cannot be factored. 
Okay, we have to use the quadratic formula, and we have b squared minus 4ac, the discriminant, right? And that will be 4 minus 16, that will be negative 12, right? Negative discriminant, that means complex solution. Let's see them now. And we have negative b, negative 2, plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. Yeah, square root of negative 12 over 2a, 2 times 4. One simplification here, uh, and I will do negative 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 3, right? Uh, square root of negative 12, and 2 times 4 is 8. And again, here we notice a bunch of 2s, uh, I mean 2 2s and the 8. We can simplify by 2 and we have negative 1 plus or minus i square root of 3 over 4. These are the two complex solutions that comes in pairs and this is the real one. Complex, okay. Uh, pause this video and try number 20. So if you end up with these uh, two complex solutions, like I said, uh, very similar to the previous example, the only difference is positive one, uh, and this neg x equals negative one half. So the problem is very similar to 19, just a uh, different sign because we have a sum of cubes, then you did a wonderful job. You notice also here I factor out the eight. Uh, look for GCF if you can, it makes your life easier. Uh, let's take a look to two more example here, 21 and 22. And this one also cubics. Well, we'll do in a different way. We notice here we can factor out x squared and x plus 2. So it's factored by grouping. And here 5 times x plus 2. And then we have this common factor x plus 2. And then x squared plus 5 equals 0. So we have the factor form. And by the way, the, this cannot be factored out anymore, but we can use zero product property for this equation, and we have x plus 2 equals 0, which gives us x equals negative 2. And also, x squared plus 5 equals 0, right? And this one, the easiest way, I think, is to subtract 5, and then take square root, don't forget to put plus and minus, and simplify that as plus or minus i square root of 5. Okay, so these are the solution for number 21, one real, two imaginary now. Yeah. Uh, pause this video clip and try number 22.
If you end up with these three solutions for number 22, all of them are real, and you did a wonderful job. And let's take a look to la the last two problems, which are uh, four degree polynomial equation. First of all, we want to have equals to zero here. So we're going to subtract 64. Again, we're going to do a substitution here, x squared equals y. And that will give us a quadratic equation, y squared minus 12y minus 64 equals zero. We can factor out this uh, quadratic and we have uh, y plus 4 times y minus 16 equals zero. And that will give us y equals negative 4 and y equals 16, right? Now don't forget y is nothing else than x squared, so we have two equations here, x squared equals negative 4 and x squared equals 16. So how do we solve? We're going to take square root here, and that will give us the imaginary solution. Right? Square root of negative 4 is 2y, so we have x equals plus or minus 2y. And here again, we're going to take square root. And this one is going to give us two real solutions, positive 4 and negative 4. Pause this video clip and try the last one, number 24. If you have this solution for number 24, you did a wonderful job, too real, too imaginary. Uh, if you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back on C-square for more uh, math video clips.